Shalom, everyone, and welcome to Q&A with Pastor Scott Villain. I'm Pastor Scott Villain with Holy Impact Ministries, and our selected question today is, what and when is the Sabbath day? My friends, I got to tell you, it really saddens my heart to know that most Christians today, most professing Christians around the world, have no idea what the Sabbath is or when the Sabbath is. This is a very, very troublesome thing that we need as modern day Christians today to understand. What I want us to understand right off the bat before we even get started here any further is that from the 66 books of your Bible, within those 66 books, there is no one, there is not one heaven sent angel, there is not one apostle, there is not one high priest, not the Son, not the Father, no one ever, ever, ever commanded anyone to keep holy the first day of the week. My friends, there was an old Catholic bishop by the name of Thomas Enright back in the 1800s, and he used to offer people $1,000 if they could open up their Bible and show him where it said, or who it said, that we shall keep holy the first day of the week, Sunday and call it the Sabbath. My friends, that old Catholic bishop went to his grave with his thousand dollars in his pocket because there is no one in the Bible who ever commands us to keep holy a first day of the week Sunday Sabbath. Pastors, priests, bishops, and popish leaders will do all kinds of philosophical gymnastics to try to get us to believe that Sunday is now the seventh day Sabbath. My friends, any schoolboy knows the difference between the seventh day of the week and the first day of the week. I want us to understand exactly what the Bible says concerning the seventh day Sabbath. Let's go very quickly and let's read that. We can read, we can find it in Exodus chapter 31 verses 12 through 18. Let's read it together. It's the only commandment that you're ever going to find for the seventh day Sabbath. Let's read it. Starting with Exodus chapter 31 verse 12, it says, and Yahovah said to Moses, you are to speak to the people of Israel and say, above all, you shall keep my Sabbaths, for this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I, Yahovah, sanctify you. You shall keep the Sabbath because it is holy for you. Everyone who profanes it shall be put to death. Whoever does any work on it, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days work shall be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, holy to Yahovah. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day shall be put to death. Therefore, the people of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observing the Sabbath throughout their generations as a covenant forever. Get this, my friends. It is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel that in six days Yahovah made the earth and on the seventh day he rested. So he made heaven and the earth and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave to Moses when he had finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai the two tablets of the testimony, tables of stone written with the finger of God. My friends, it should be very clear to us that our, our Father in Heaven did not say that we were only to keep His seventh-day Sabbath until His Son comes. He says, forever and throughout your generations, it is a sign between Him and us, His seventh-day Sabbath. Now, many people will say, well, I'm not, I'm not part of the house of Israel, so how does that affect me? Well, my friends, if you are a professing Christian, a true God-fearing, cross-bearing, Messiah-following Christian, then you are indeed part of the house of Israel. Let's turn very quickly to Galatians chapter 3, verses 27 through 29. Galatians chapter 3, verse 27 says, For as many of you as were baptized into the Messiah have put on the Messiah. There's neither Jew nor Greek. And again, the Greek is a Gentile. He was not blood by blood part of the house of Israel. So he says, There is no more Jew or Gentile. There's neither slave nor free. There's no female. There's no male, no female. For you are all one in the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus. And if you are the Messiahs, then you are Abraham's offspring. Heirs according to promise. 
My friends, I want everyone within the sound of my voice to know that if you indeed are a Christian who loves your Messiah and is keeping his commandments because you love him, then you are part of the house of Israel. And it is commanded for the house of Israel to keep the seventh-day Sabbath holy because it is a sign between us and our Father. My friends, uh, I want us to know that. And it is the one day that Yahuwah says is holy holy. He sanctified it as holy. My friends, man cannot sanctify anything as holy. Man does not have that authority. Only the Father in heaven can make something holy, and he made the seventh-day Sabbath holy. Now, I want to read uh, a few uh, things for you here. This is some historical documentation for you, uh, just so that you will know exactly what history has to say about where the first day of the week, Sunday Sabbath, came from. Where did the first day of the week, Sunday Sabbath, come from? Let's read some historical documentation here this, uh, today. It says this, From this same Catholic Church you have accepted your Sunday, and that Sunday is Yahuwah's day. She has handed down as a tradition, and the entire Protestant world has accepted it as tradition. For you have not an iota of Scripture to establish it. Therefore, that which you, Protestants, have accepted as your rule of faith, inadequate as it of course is, as well as your Sunday, you have accepted on the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. This from David B. Ray, the papal controversy involving the claim of the Roman Catholic Church to the Church of God. Also, I want us to see exactly what is written here in the Catholic Catechism. Now, my friends, the Catholic Catechism is a separate book from the Bible, and it is a guideline uh, that hedges all, all Catholics into the Catholic Church and pre-programs them to believe that the Catholic Church and the papacy of Rome has authority over God. Now, I want us to understand what is written concerning the uh, first day of the week, Sunday Sabbath, uh, concerning the Catholic Catechism. Let's read that. It says this, and this is a question and answer in the, uh, in the Catholic Catechism. It says this, question, which is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea, A.D. 363, transferred the solemnity of, uh, from Saturday to Sunday. And again, this is from Peter Greerman, the Converts Catechism of Catholic Doctrine. My friends, it's very clear the Catholic Church consistently brags about their changing the seventh day to the first day. And the fact that Protestant, that Protestant churches now have become the daughters of Catholicism because they are now keeping Catholic tradition and doctrine. I want us to, again, I want to read you this letter from Thomas Enright, the bishop that we talked about earlier here. Bishop Enright says this. He says, I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who can prove to me by the Bible alone that I am bound to keep Sunday holy. There's no such law in the Bible. It is a law of the holy Catholic Church alone. The Bible says, remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. The Catholic Church says no. By my divine power, I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. Again, this is from Bishop Thomas Enright, a personal letter printed in Experiences of a Pioneer Minister of Minnesota. My friends, I want us to know and understand where it is that this first day of the week Sunday comes from. If you are a Catholic and you are practicing first day of the week Sunday Sabbath, then the papacy and the Rome, uh, the Pope of Rome is your God. If you are a Christian and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is your God, and Yeshua HaMashiach, his only begotten son, Jesus the Messiah, the Christ, is the one you follow, then the seventh day Sabbath is your Sabbath. And if you are keeping a first day of the week Sunday Sabbath, you are keeping Catholic doctrine, and you are worshiping a Catholic God. My friends, do you think that Catholicism is Christianity? You better think again. Now go home, 
read your Bible from the beginning of the book to the end of the book and not from the middle of the book to the end of the book. You'll be glad you did. Shalom, everyone.